The fourth and final day of the 26th Biennial National Convention of the American Postal Workers Union opened with inspiring and centering words from two prayer partners, Reverend Abhi Jadamanchi and Rabbi Robert Berman. And NBA Robert Romanowski led the assembly in the Pledge of Allegiance. I also would like to dedicate today's Pledge of Allegiance to my son-in-law who's serving on his sixth deployment servicing this country. Uh, so that's this one's for you, Todd. It was then quickly back to work, picking up with consideration of several motions before the formal resolutions committee, including a proposal to make November 27th National Postal Day. It passed overwhelmingly. You have the resolution on page 302, the committee recommendation. The meeting then moved to voting on resolutions before the National Executive Board Committee. Point of inquiry to the uh, NEB uh, committee. In the second half of the day, attention shifted to the reports from the Legislative Political Committee, as well as the Craft Committees, Clerk Division, Maintenance Division, Motor Vehicles, and Support Services. It was an afternoon full of debate and deliberation. I just wanted to clarify for the body. And I rise to speak against this resolution. Would you like to speak on the amendment, sister? I do believe it speaks for itself. Before the meeting adjourned, delegates heard from a supporter of the PRO Act and the Postal Service, Republican Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick of Pennsylvania. The Postal Service Reform Act will finally end the unfair pre-funding mandate for the USPS, solving the most pressing financial problem facing the agency. Uh, and we've been advocating for this alongside of each one uh, of you for a long time. And unlike any other federal government entity, uh, the pre-funding requirement was unique to the uh, Postal Service and resulted in losses of upwards of $5 billion annually for more than a decade. But it got across the finish line uh, due to all of your hard work and your partnership with offices like ours. So I thank you for your work. I look forward to a lot of uh, uh, additional accomplishments in the future. And thanks for having me. God bless. And there were two special guests from across the pond. Pepe Sayugas, General Secretary of Spain's Postal Sector FSPU, and Dave Ward, General Secretary of the British Communications Workers Union, who joined via video because his union is in the middle of a strike back home. I think we're seeing a situation that I can best describe as people actually saying enough is enough. I don't think politicians are, are going to fix these problems. I think the values of trade unionism, where we bridge every divide in society, will do that. And I do know that the APWU uh, are up there with one of the best, very best postal unions uh, across the world. Finally, the delegates were treated to a video commemorating the great postal strike of 1970. 50 years ago was a time of great social change, and postal workers were right in the middle of it. In March 1970, 210,000 postal workers stood tall, stood in solidarity, defied the law, and withheld their labor, and won better pay and benefits, job security, and true collective bargaining for generations to come. Delegates were even honored to have some of the strikers in attendance. It's time for a standing ovation, sisters and brothers, APW family. It was a fitting reminder of our history as the APWU delegates wrapped up the business of the 26th Biennial National Convention. See you again in two years. Till then, the struggle for justice continues. 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 APW all the way.